Hey guys, it's Ryzen 51 here, your Angel of Light. I am ready to give you another episode of Let's Play. People more right down to your door. Last time we left off, we got done talking to the Don. Don Pianta. Helping him find his daughter, Francesca and Frankie. That's his um, employee, sort of. Um, and we got them back, and we were able to get a blimp ticket to off to Blitz Hill. Now, right now, this is actually my second attempt. This is the second time I am uploading this right now. I kind of lost connect. I uh, I was having trouble earlier and didn't want to work for me. I was having a little trouble earlier today uh, with the. Uh, can't talk to. <laughs> yeah, I was having trouble today with the movie maker. So, oh yes, yeah, this is chapter three of Blitz and Glory. So anyway, yeah, I was having trouble with my movie maker. It only it was like recording up to like maybe six or seven minutes. And my video file just got to sign one to stop. So I was just checking my uh, scan for viruses and there was a couple. There was like two maybe. So I was wondering if that might have been the cause of it. So I'm gonna try this. If this uh, this doesn't uh, if this goes through with no problem, then we should be okay. But um, since I'm running this a little late today, guys, I'm only going to do uh, two clips today instead of three. But uh, next week we'll be back on track and start. Well, I may just stick it to two. Cause I don't want to go through too much of this uh, game. I want to, you know, give it time. You know, I don't want to try to go through it this fast and everything. So anyway, here we are, folks. We have finally made it. This is. Glitzville. My, my, Glitzville, I heard that the Glitzville is just full of brawny brawls. I must admit the prospect of her, some hurly burly gives me a touch of a keek. Yeah, I still can't say that word. Oh boy, this week has been kind of rough for me, to be honest. Now, nah, Diane, let's find that crystal star, hmm? Sure. Alright, so, let's get this shine sprite real quick. Little hidden coin block there, and there is a star piece right here. There it is. Alright, let's head on in, shall we? Alright, let's go in and check out what's going on. Alright. Wow, nice arena. Bit of a coliseum, I would guess, and looks like there's somebody getting ready to fight. <clears throat> Trying to get in the character here. Oh dear me, what a possibly glorious canoe. Oh messy Mari, look at that look there. There those two brutes are about to happen, each other. That's right. Ugh. I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Ooh. Stay down, putting pin cushion. You don't want more of this. Why don't you even show up? Yeah, you heard me talking, Wimpy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push ups and then come see Uncle Rock Cock. I'll give you another world-class speaker and send you crying home to mama again. Hoo-wee! Chantel's great A whooping your thoughts on the match. You call that a match? Ain't there a fire out there who can challenge me? No, no one can't hear me. Ain't a fire out there that can make, even make me sweat. There are all a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diamonds. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on England. You might as well take the video game fighting, okay? I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rock is the champ. Ha 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 ha. Hey, that's our crystal star there. Oh my word, Mario. On that uncooked bird spelt. Is that a crystal star? Looks like it. Yes, I do believe it is. That wonderful spark was yet another crystal star. But such a tawdry place to find it. Why would it be here of all places? Good question. Oh, what should we do? I don't fancy the idea of stealing the bell's bell. What should we do, Mario? We're gonna bow our way to the top. Oh, my darling, I'm so happy to hear you say that. I expect nothing less. You're ten times the man of anyone here. You'll be shammy in no time. Let's move on then, shall we? All our next stop is to become the official fires, I imagine. Oh, my heart is probably thumping. Let's find whoever's in charge this minute. Alright, so let's 
let's head on over here. Uh, pardon me? Can we speak to you? What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter? Hmm. Well, if you're serious, you better go meet Mr. Grubba, the promoter. Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hall. You can't miss it. Head on through. Thank you very much. Alright, so I work with Mr. Grubba's. Yeah, I was trying to work on a uh, recording this about an hour ago, and it did not want to work for some dumb reason, but I think we may be doing okay now. What's that? You want to be a fire bub? Alright, go on in. Let's go just inside. Thank you very much. Who in darn nation are you, son? Who let you in? This is Miss Grubba's office. Yeah, that's me, Grubba. And you, your wood rude rude coming. Your one rude dude coming in without knocking. <laughs> Whoops. Mess that up. What now? Anthony, huh? You wanna be a fighter? Oh yeah. Woo wee! That dude James Thingle too, son. Mm, see me. I always got time for an up and comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters all primed and raring to go. And see, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now pay, play with my playing straight, son. You want to live the glamorous side of a champ, don't you? Darn skipping. All right, all right, son. I hear you. I hear you coming from, son. Down clear. Okay, so you would have said the same thing with uh, which of your option you chose. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't have a pokey's but two for fancy big sea ways. Find jumping to the world martial arts and fought my way to fame, riches. And no, I realized being rich and famous is dilly dang dynamite. I love that. Now, I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough, enough to set me for that. You read me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big, and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those soldiers and laugh. You read me here, son? Uh, sure. That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's us have a little walk talk. Come on now. So while Grubba's giving us a little tour here. Whew. See, yeah, my week has been like really rough in college lately. Uh, math has been getting a little bit tough for me. Uh, tests coming up. Being a little nervous about them. I'm hoping to be ready and set to go on that. Now you like this far, just eat your ass. Go on. This is the champ's room. Isn't that sight? Deluxe. You become champ's son. You get the key to this room. They ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money screaming fans. Yep, yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Okay. Now, uh, here we have the major locker room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son? Huh? Not that glass, but it's clean comfortable. Totally sanitary, dude. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but I care about my fires, darn it. Well, that's good to hear. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't no but one world champion. Body weights at the top, and taking the belt to became, become champion ain't easy, Dave. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there were no challenge. I can see you've got the fire for it, too, part. You've got the eye of the tiger. There. Yeah, say, don't start with the eye of the tiger saw, please. <laughs> yeah, it's a good saw, just, uh, wow. You're gonna be a champ. I can just seal it. I ain't never been so sure about a fire. Huh? Oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an EDB contract to be a fire. Hey, no thing. Just take a t second or two of your time. Just jot your name here, okay? Sign me up. Best thing you ever done, son. Now you're Mario. And bad handle. Still I gotta say, par. It lacks a little punches that fire's in. Give me. I see something my movie maker's doing fine. I was just trying to check the time and video file. But anyway, let's keep going. Let me see here. Bam! Hoo-wee! I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the great Gonzalez. Who? Ain't that a beaut. Dang it, it ain't a stroke of genius, and ain't that good comes around once a lifetime. Yep, everyone soon bow before the great Gonzalez. Made me proud, son. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> well, now that we got the business side out of the way, Jolie, could you come in a minute, darling? Yep, we're doing that. I think it was all because it had a uh, scan of virus on it. Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Sure did, on Julian, this 
It's the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach to take him on down to the minor league locker room already. Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please saw me. Yeah, I think that scan actually made a difference. Yeah, but just have to do it every day because it's annoying. As you know, you're a contracted fi contract fire now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, whatever Mr. Rubber says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Rubber releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Relevant? Yeah. Can't to talk. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. It looks like crap. You're starting the minor league, Cortez, as you now just start your career. If you don't like this thingy room, I suggest you work your way up the ranks. <sighs> okay, I guess. You're ready to fight, just... Yeah, I'm just gonna tell you guys about that. Yeah, just click on here, press A. Reserve a match. Here we go. Well, howdy, Gunsounds. Ready to get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your burst spell's gonna be against the Goomba Brothers. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, you won't get everybody fired up, so appeal to the crowd at least once. If you got any questions about detail rules, just ask me the beloved Mr. Lee, okay, son? And we're gonna skip all of this. Yada, yada, yada. All that jazz. I'll shoot. So I guess we're going too fast. <laughs> yep. I, I would tell you on the text or anything, but I, you know, got no time to waste with that. Say, so if you do, as Mr. Groba says, Gonzalez, match time, follow me, bub. Okay, so Gary's here to escort you to the ring. Try to get complete the story out there. We won't. But yeah, uh, you have to do what Groba says as applied to the rules. If you don't do it, you have to face that, that rank that you just defeated again. If you do it, you'll go up and you face the next rank. Screwing off next, folks, on the hopping hardheads, Goomba Brothers. I am the newcomer with the hankering for hammering, the Great Gonzalez. The Kuma Brothers have been waiting for getting all head up for the fight. Let's check it. Howdy, howdy, Kuma Brothers. How you feeling today? You ready for this fight? Ha, huh, are you kidding, man? Well, I was ready to bonk a fool, too. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot? That's who. Waiting just makes me us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters and seniority. I think maybe you all call an ambulance right now, just to save time later. Are you joking? Hot to your day, Fight Fan. After the great great sounds, now stride on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts thrown out of weight. Like he owns the place. Whew! Okay, now, Zells, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bomb, punk! Hey, what gives, man? Nice try. Hey, that's not fair. You can't attack one of the bell That's cheating. Come on, Mario. We can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. Aw, quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Oh, I'll give you a thank you, all right, you goombas. You messed with the wrong plumber. That's what you get. hoo -ah! Victory pose. It's super effective. Arr. The Great Gonzales wins. Tell me, son, what was the first taste of victory that? That bow was savage. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the Great Gonzales. Hold this. Hada hada. Woo! Alright, after we get through the chatting here, we'll uh, stop part one here and we'll begin the next part. Well, because now that fight wasn't a total loss. But this son, uh, fast guy played to the crowd, you know, and pump him up more. I'm hoping you give me more rat next time, huh? We just say each other. Good, I'll be on my way. Mr. Lee here will give you the fight man. See ya! Whew, sorry, I'm a little off today. Here's your fight man, Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you very much, Mr. Lee. Yeah, all that jazz, and you have a nice day, Miss Julie. Alright. 
Yo, Rook, how was your first fight, dog? Oh, hello there. I'm King K, man, just to push these scrub like you. Good to meet you, man. You look like a stand up dude. I think I can hang with you. Alright, you're not gonna start writing like Red Tilt, are you? <laughs> hey, so why don't you meet this the gang, huh? The guy here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we got to know each other, I will give you advice, Bomb. As Mr. Leeds was saying, you better bomb obey Mr. Crumb's conditions. If you clear the dishes and win, you'll get to fight high rank foes, Bomb. If you can't clear them, you bomb. End up battling a low rank fire, Bomb. You can't climb the bomb, Bomb. Ranks fighting the bottom of the bo of the barrel, Bomb Bomb. Yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. Not just sometimes, Bomb ain't advice is always, always useful, Bomb Bomb. Right, man. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, this is Lee Machine over here, this band to Andy. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm not here often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh, yeah, I get. Whoops, <laughs> I skipped. It's not like the cushy band in Chance Room, though. It doesn't refill really star power. I see. Okay, cool, this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Kleptor. Right, Kleptor no like make. Kleptor, Kleptor no like make friends with mustache. Easy that Kleptor. Dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core. The core my only crew man. You need something to ask you us. Oh yeah, also God. You and me have got to mention Skirt off, so good luck, man. Thanks, bro. Alright, folks, we'll be right back.